All right, so let's look at our materials that we'll need for today. Um, I'm, I like to have um, watercolor paper, um, but you don't need to have watercolor paper. You can be using just a regular heavyweight drawing paper. Um, I like to have a little bit of paper towel, just a sheet or so. Um, I do have a variety of watercolor brushes here, but honestly, I like a medium-sized um, watercolor brush. But whatever you have on hand is absolutely fine. If you don't have a whole bunch of um, materials and you just have what came with the package or what came with your set of watercolors, that's absolutely fine. You need a container of water. Um, whatever type of watercolors you have are absolutely great. Um, I have a bunch of different ones, but just because I love to paint and I always have lots of watercolors, I take them when I travel, etc. Um, but even kids' watercolors are great. Um, I have a variety here from very expensive to kiddos to in the middle. Um, one thing I do like to do when I get my watercolors out is I take a spray bottle and I spray everything. This is how we wake up the watercolors. I always say they are sleeping when they are dry. And really, um, when you are looking at these watercolors and creating with them, um, the paint itself is the puddle you make inside the pan with the color. Um, the, the, the pan itself is not your paint. Your paint is the puddle that you make inside the pan with water. I mean, that is the paint. Um, so you do need to, to put quite a bit of water on these to get them to wake up, okay? Um, that's what we do. Now, because I want to keep this kind of centered, I'm going to go right for the center of my page and just make a little dot with my pencil here. And that's the only thing I'm going to do with a pencil on this drawing. Okay. And then I am just going to pick and choose colors I want to work with. I'm not going to think about it too much or overthink it too much. Um, and um, I'm just going to go and have a good time with this. I'm going to make a nice circle. I don't care if it's perfect. I'm just going to enjoy the process of putting this paint on my paper. In between colors, I'm going to wipe off and go to my paper towel before I grab another color. Okay, now I am going to change in between. I'm going to change colors and I'm just going to keep grabbing colors that make me happy. And I'm not going to put too much thought into that. Um, I want to really make sure that I'm enjoying my process. I mean, that's more important to me than probably anything when I'm painting. Okay, so now I'm going to put a nice ring around this. It's important to breathe when you paint. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, don't get hung up on perfection when you're painting, okay? So just enjoy what's happening. Because I'm using green and blue, if I touch a little, it won't matter so much. But when I'm doing this, I really am trying to maybe keep my colors a little bit separate. If you don't want your colors to blend, just don't touch them. It doesn't bother me if I touch a little blue to the green because blue and green are really good friends. Blue and green are friends because there's blue in green. <laughs> Yellow and blue make green, so it's fine. The little blue gets in my green. It just adds to the fun. There we are. Okay, so then don't overthink your design. Um, just come up with something that you're going to like or something that's fun to make shapes you enjoy putting down. I kind of like to do this kind of like circle -y thing when I 
circles and loops and so this is how I do them I just kind of randomly pull colors and put everything together down on this page um, I'm wiping off here <laughs> so you can see what I'm doing I'm trying to get this brush cleaner before I grab another color um, and then I just I just keep going with what I'm making um, let's see And there we go. It's coming along. I mean, you just like, just keep adding to it until you're happy with the result. That's what we do. I'm gonna do one more round and then I'm gonna leave you to make your own because you can fill this entire page with these. Um, just keep going and going and going with your own design ideas around the page until you fill the entire paper. There we go. 